As you saw, we put the uh, the teal bed liner in. It looks it looks really good. Obviously, you know, uh, we pieced this bed together so the floor it came out of a work truck. It's not like the perfect bed floor, but it's a bed floor. Um, hard, the bed liner is all hard now. This is what I was telling you guys about. It's not sticky. It's not. It's like hard as a rock, and that's what uh, you know. That's what I personally like in a bed liner. I don't like the goopy whatever bed liners, but that's besides the point. Finally got the, the tracking for the ICP, the IPR, and my thermostat. I've got the other stuff here to complete that. Gonna replace all of those. They're actually OEM Ford parts. Gonna replace all of those. See if that fixes our issues. If not, then uh, I'm gonna get a scanner over here and we're gonna end up doing the uh, buzz test on those injectors and see if we have to swap those out. But pretty much, bed liner's done, so we need to address the, the you know the the paint and then we need to do rock lights and tint and this thing's pretty much done other than uh what's under the hood which is really exciting obviously you guys see the green trucks for sale 2022 a lot of changes a lot of things gonna happen it's gonna be exciting instead of wet sanding and polishing the bed i mean we'll probably still have to polish it out but um i'm gonna flow coat this so this is honestly just colored and cleared um new coat what we're gonna do is actually sand this and re-clear it so it'll clear really flat just like this in these doors um but in these doors they just really needed like a 3000 grit scuff and then polish and this thing would be glass so this is what we're going to do here we're going to add the second layer of clear on both bedsides um we'll talk about these sections if we get to that in this video and then obviously with the hood and all that other stuff. So pretty much we're gonna start with the bed, knock this out so we can actually tape this thing off in sections. Uh, we're gonna get to wet sanding this bedside and that bedside, uh, start with that. And like I said, we'll work our way around the truck and getting all this paint perfect while we're waiting uh, for those sensors to show up um, for under the hood. So it's gonna look completely different by the end of this video, so stay tuned. And um, yeah, let's get to it. pretty much sanded this is like 600 well five six hundred grit on the bed that's just gonna get re-cleared we're gonna just throw clear on it it's gonna be flat it's gonna look sick we're actually changing the clear coat on this truck uh, while we're at it we're going from the two to one like European clear to a four to one um, just standard clear the two to one's nice it really is however I just want to spray it off the gun and have an awesome result so we're going with the clear that can achieve those results um, especially with the gun I have. I'm do, I will upgrade the gun here shortly, but uh, a correct clear coat gun, well it's not really a correct clear coat gun, the high end clear coat guns, um, it's about $700 for a paint gun, which is crazy. But we will do that soon, because obviously as you evolve, you want the best of the best equipment, and it gets your job done. Easier, equates for some error here and there, user error, and it, it, it's able to do that. But this is all sanded, that's getting re-cleared. Tailgate needs, obviously, repainted because the shade's off. It's on there right now, that's sanded down to 400. Uh, gives us a flat surface to actually spray the pink on. Uh, so we're gonna spray the pink on there, fill all that in, give it a couple more coats, let that dry, and then we're gonna come over this entire bed and re-clear it. What that'll allow us to actually do is put the tail lights in, put the bumper on, do all that, complete the rear end of this, be able to cover this whole thing, like the whole rear end of this up. So we'll just add more plastic, and then we'll cut sections out that we need to uh, complete this process on the front of the truck. And we'll get this thing uh, cleared with the, the four to one clear. It'll flow out better and this thing should technically be glass off the gun with like three or four coats uh, of clear on it. I'm gonna aim for three because four is kind of pushing the mill thickness on this whole truck. That's the goal here. That's what we're gonna do. And uh, I can't wait to see this thing actually in like a finished state with the paint.
So probably a lot of you at the beginning of this were like, what on earth, but yes, there it is. That's why we do that. That was the plan with the entire truck and we kind of did that on certain pieces, but it's been sitting so long, so many people have been in and out of the hood, doors have been open, closed, handprints, lean on, all that. I'm just gonna do this to the whole truck. In the essence of it, you see a truck that's actually perfect, it's got good paint. Regardless of what's under the hood, it's gonna look like it's taken care of and kept up with. So, uh, yeah, this this is absolutely nuts. Now we can do it with a, you know, a fine, final polish and this thing is perfect all the dust is out and it's mint so i am so stoked with that later we've got this thing all taped off we got it sanded um it's all scuffed up ready to go i wiped it down once with wax and grease remover as you can see there's still crap all over it i'm gonna do it again in the morning uh there's one thing i hate i absolutely hate and it's rubbing when you turn and it clips a fender it clips a bumper it clips the liner it clips plastic it drives me nuts originally this this setup was built or was chosen because this thing was going to have a two inch leveling kit on it well, at the time, I got a drop shackle, and I should have went with the, the, you know, the actual stack, the leaf um, leveling kit for this, because then it would have fit, because that drop shackle, on like a normal truck, it would kick it back enough, and all the angles are fine, but if I kick that thing back right now, um, yeah, it, the drive shaft is just, would not have it. So, we're clipping. So, I sat there and I trimmed this, but we're going to do this right, and because it's obviously bare metal now, and we cut this. We're gonna paint the whole bumper again, pull it into there. We're gonna be able to reshoot that. Other side's exactly the same. Everything's all sanded, taped up. I'm just gonna do it right and print the final steps because guess what? The sensors are at home. We'll be able to actually see if this thing gets fixed with those sensors or we're gonna have to order injectors. So I'm excited, but I just spent 10 hours sanding. So I'm gonna go home and uh, be back in the morning to uh, finish this up. be honest and say I mean there's just because I open sprayed it there's little dust nibs in it so we are gonna wet like wet sand those out I'm gonna buff this entire truck still on camera it probably looks ridiculous right now because it does but in my like in person here it's like polish this thing out so there's there's just a little fine bit of orange peel here we'll polish that out this thing's gonna be deep especially spraying uh, uh, the upper side of these doors uh, like I said I'm about 5'11 um, maybe six foot with the boots on and um, yeah, it's up there. So getting this thing uh, all perfect was just like step one. The sensors are here, they're in my truck. Sensors are here, IPR valves here, thermostats here, the other stuff is here. So next step in this, do all the repairs. This thing hopefully will run right. And if not, and we do need to go test the injectors, then, we, then we'll do it at that point. And then I do need to paint one more thing, bed cap and the balance, which is unfortunate but uh, we can do that at any time. I just want to get this thing all done so we can get it out and get uh, some space back. So I'm just beat. It's been like a two day, two, three day process of getting the bed and this all perfect. Same with the tailgate, forgot about that. They look sharp. But getting this thing all perfect. Um, yeah, I literally can't wait to buff this thing out, get this thing shining and uh, driving. But yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. We got all the clearance now too. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. Tell me it looks good or something because I'm exhausted and I need to hear it. So tell me it looks good down below. And um, <laughs> take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one.